and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to be working on how to create a structure using your own blocks in M Creator. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. First thing you need to do is make your block. Uh, we already have just a basic uh, block that I made uh, with you know general settings, nothing really fancy. And so that's all we need. It doesn't need to have any recipes or anything like that. We can just create a structure with just a basic block. So once this is finished compiling, what you can do is open up the game and then you will actually have to go in game to make the structure. So I'll see you in game. So the first thing that you want to do is create a new world and then you want to go and uh, name it something. So I'm going to call it um, Structure building, uh, we could probably put a space between that. We'll go into creative. We want to set it to super flat so it's easier for us to build with. And turn off generating structures. We don't need the bonus chest and we want to allow cheats. We'll create the new world. And once we're in here, uh, we want to configure the world just a little bit. I like having it on peaceful because it uh, limits the the mobs from actually spawning and then from there you can set up a game rule rule and uh, set this to false uh, do daylight cycle set to false false uh, this will prevent the sun from going any higher and there is do I think it's like weather cycle false. So this will prevent it from raining. And we can just set time set uh, noon uh, 6,000. Yeah, 6,000 is right above us in 1.12. So now that we have that uh, set up, we can just start building a structure. So first thing we need to do is go and find our custom block that we made. And I'm just going to place down something small enough, maybe an optogalisk type thing. Uh, we might want to play around with some regular gold blocks as well, wherever those may be. There we go. And we'll just stack these, something like that. And we can use a um what is it and i'm pretty happy with it just go like that now all right so once we have that uh what you need to do is create or go into the command line and go give and then you hit tab for whatever player id you are and then what you want to do is structure and if you hit tab again, it should come up as structure. And then you want to set block. So like that. And it'll give you a structure block. Now it's not too hard to um, learn how to use this. Uh, what you need to do is kind of pay attention to the axis in the center of the screen right there. As you can see, I'm rotating it right now. It's that little marker with the green, blue, and red um, indicator. So where all those lines meet is where what corner of the structure you're going to need to place this block on. So as you can see, we're already on the right side of the structure. So what we need to do is go, say, right about here, place that down. This isn't going to be part of the structure. It's just going to help us create the structure that we need. So we can get out of the F3 screen now. And what we need to do is go to click on data. Uh, we don't need to worry about that right now. We need to measure um, our structure. So it is one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five, six. So those are the dimensions you're going to need. Uh, what you want to do is um, a, the relative position is where the starting position is. Again, the starting position is uh, where all those lines meet. Uh, the other position is on the opposite corner, so it'll be on the top here. So somewhere around here. 
and it's opposite of what this corner is. So relative position is where all the lines meet. Structure size is the other coordinate where the actual size of the structure is. So this is actually set up perfectly fine. It's testing for the block right here, and that's where it's gonna start, so we want that. Uh, we don't need to add any extra coordinates here because it's just directly above. Um, now we need to set this to five, six, and five. So this is our width, our height, and our depth, something like that. It's X, Y, and Z. So once we do that, you can just close out of that and you can see the outline of the, um, the actual structure. If you see it all encased in it, nice and snug-like, then it's perfect. It's never a bad idea just to check underneath the, um, the structure and see if the line is directly below it because it kind of does hide with the, the blocks underneath it so it's always good just to pop open a corner like this and just see if it's uh, where you need it to be so in this case it's perfect so we go back over here and we go and name it something so we're just going to call it uh, let's say uh, beacon and we'll click save now there's a few other options that you might want to use. Um, I don't know how to use this particular one right here. Uh, it's supposed to detect uh, somehow something like the other another uh, structure block, but um, I used to use it, but I can't remember how to use it. I'm sure there's a tutorial on it, but I don't have a idea when making this tutorial. So. Uh, include entities. So if you want to actually place entities such as um, say creepers or other things like that, you can actually put them in here, fence around the area so they can't get out, and then turn this on and it'll make a structure with an entity in it. Uh, this may work with paintings and other entities. I don't know if it works with just entities or also with block entities, but uh, other than that, that's the basic way to set it up. Once you have that done, you can just save and quit, exit, and then if we go to workspace and then go to uh, resources and structures and then import structure from Minecraft, as you can see our structure shows up here and we can select that. Uh, now the format that this is, our beacon, is a um, it's an NBT structure format, so NBT. Uh, that's the the file structure that uh, structure blocks use. It, use. Um, now schematics are from MC Edit, which uh, you can create schematics. So once you create a some schematic in a program, third party program, then you can import it in here, but it's not necessarily to do that with the structure blocks. I'm not sure if there's any major difference with the the way that the structures are set up. So now that we need we have our structure, we can actually create the structure itself. So if we go down to structure spawn, we'll set up the structure. And uh, as you can see, it's already pre-selected for a structure spawn type. This is basically the probability of where the structure will spawn, like how common it will be. Higher numbers, I believe, will cause slower world generation. Uh, for this tutorial, we'll just set it at the maximum because we need to find it. And the next one here is uh, the rotation of the block, so or the structure. So if you want it to rotate on different axes, you can select this rotation. Spawn in biomes, so, or, spawn location. So the types of spawn locations is ground, underground, so things that are like dungeons and stuff would be this one. Air, which is kind of like, um, I don't know, kind of like air clouds, floating islands, stuff like that. And ground, which is something on the surface. We'll select ground for that one. The spawn offset, so um, So 
So this will basically offset the block one block if it or depending on uh, if your if your blocks basically one block above ground then you can set this to negative one or so on and offset it so it's in the ground itself. Uh, this would probably be handy if you need to have a ground structure and it's coming out. So we're just going to set that to negative one because most probability it's going to be doing that. Um, spawn world types. So we want to set this to surface and well there's other selections. These are your worlds, nether and end. Uh, we the next thing that's down here is the block that's restricted. We don't need to restrict it, we just want it to spawn and restrict to per biome. Now you can select what biome you want to restrict it to. These two are optional. So if you want um, say a forest biome then you can select forest. Um, if you want to replace a certain type of block such as stone then you can select stone and then it will replace that but that's all that really needs to be done uh, to set up a structure. It's pretty simple. Um, we'll wait for this to compile and then we'll go in game and we'll try finding this structure. So now that we're in game we want to create a new world and we're going to call it something like test world and we want it in creative. Uh, we want the default world and create new. Um, also, it's a good idea to make sure structures are enabled so you can actually find it. If they're disabled, then it's not going to show up. So, as you can see, one's already here. There's actually quite a few of them. Um, we probably overdid it just a little bit, but I mean, just look at all these beacons. I mean, just imagine a custom world and you're going in, it, in there and it's just like this. Just a bunch of beacons all over the place. That would be pretty cool. Um, again, mCreator's completely up to your creativity of how you want to create your worlds and stuff like that. And this is just one random idea that you can come up with to create a uh, probably a very laggy server. <laughs> um, I have a pretty powerful PC so this isn't really affecting me too much but uh, just the, some of the stuff that you can actually do with it is just amazing. Um, other than that uh, you can also put chests in your structures as well and if you put a chest in there you can fill it up with some stuff I'm pretty sure and say you want to put some chests and stuff like that and you can have them generate a set um, randomization so for example um, if you want a chest to always spawn something like di two diamonds a couple gold and maybe some coal and you can just randomize it something like this so it looks like it's been generated and then you can just stick it make sure that it's in the actual structure itself and then you can actually generate it in your structure uh, you might need to enable entities uh, because it is technically a block entity a chest so uh, it's you'll take some playing around with with the settings and stuff like that but it shouldn't be too hard to figure out